Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Come on now. We got Trick Daddy. Welcome. <laughs> What they do? T double D. It's been a minute, man. What up, CO? What's up with you, man? So, Trick Daddy, what's been going on, man? I <laughs> know, uh, you know, same thing, same thing. You know, what I'm saying, just representing, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The music game is a lot different, mm -hmm. so I do less music and I just get in the bag all different other kinds of weight now. You we been seeing. I was just talking to Duval the other day. Me and Duval was talking about like the best lyricists from the South, and I said, man, you got to throw Trick in there too now. Do you think you do all ain't say my name? Uh -oh. <laughs> no, uh -oh. he, he said. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> he actually said, "Who do you say?" He said, uh, "Ti," which I agree. He said, "Ti and Ross." And then uh, I was like, "Man, you got to throw trick in there too, lyrically now." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Lyrically, you throw in there. lyrically, I think I'm number one, and I never, I never put myself number one mm -hmm. because I can't be my own favorite rapper. But I, I know lyrically, I, I, I consider myself as number one, tied. With Scarface. Face. Was face. Definitely face. We have right. face. Definitely have face in there. 100 percent I, I can say Ty with Scarface because I I, I I know I'm a bigger fan of his than he was of me because mm -hmm. I was listening to him ten years before I That's decided right. to do music. That's right. So I never forget where I come from. Mm -hmm. But at least you get in the bags though doing things that make sense, right? That you right. really love, like the cooking show. Right. Which we were just talking about. I said when I come on there, I want to do something vegan. What that is? <laughs> <laughs> what, what vegan is? Fake meat. Fake meat. Fake no, oh. no, it don't even got it. It could be all fruits and vegetables. It don't got to be no fake meat. You cook. So you don't eat like seafood? No, I don't eat seafood. You straight vegan. When no, you I'm not a vegan. I'm Trick, not a you vegan. can make a nice tall salad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's another thing. We don't have to go on a show to get a, get a salad tall. <laughs> That was the eating booty game. I'm not part of that game. You know what I'm saying? But I guess uh, vegetables with right. no meat. Uh, I could do that. Yeah, I think that'd be a good challenge to see. That's not gonna be interesting, but I can do it. <laughs> Why not? I think it is because look, if, think about all the things that you could cook. Like if you had to come up with a meal for somebody who was a vegetarian, right? What would you come up with? Uh, man, I'd probably cook up some cabbage, some rice. Yeah, but even in the South, we put turkey sausage in the cabbage. Some people put bacon. I, I like mean, turkey sausage. I, I mean, okay, with the, even the thing like like at, at Sundays, we use turkey. That's mm -hmm. right. For the pot meat. Mm -hmm. So we put it in the stream beans. We put it in the collard greens. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of hard, but we figured out a way to give it its seasoning without the pork. Yeah. Because the oldest people in my family eat pork. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't never stopped eating pork. And I heard that some things you don't get sick until you stop doing it. Right. They said they said pork is like heroin. The hardest thing to do is to get off of it. And I like bacon and pork chop is my two favorite meat. But I respect the way people decide they want to eat, mm -hmm. you know, saying healthy these days. And so we don't put pork in there. If you want pork, the only pork we got is the pork chop, and you have to order that, and we cook it separate. But I guess, yeah. but you say no meat. I'm like, damn, you like can no. Do meat. Yeah. Is there anything you don't eat? And that's a general no, question. No, I do everything. <laughs> Toes, everything. Yeah, if, you eat, if, you eat booty, if you eat the booty game, you can't say yeah, you don't eat much. Yeah, I eat everything. And when everything. I come on the show, I, whatever you make, I I, I eat pork. Like, and I, I just, eat pork, I, I eat bacon, I eat say, I say, what every He said, no, Emmy say he eat everything. I say, good. <laughs> and it, 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 don't, it don't matter. You doing it at the restaurant? Simple. No, well, we do. No, we got actually CO. This this my executive producer. Okay. So, somebody who talked me into doing it because mm -hmm. I... I, I, you know, I used, to, I used to mess around a little bit mm -hmm. on, on, on social media mm -hmm. and be screaming, bitch, I got my boss. And everybody, like, got used to it. So he was like, we doing a cooking show together. I'm doing it. I was like, what we going to do with that? And we was looking around for a whole year. He was like, you know what? Him and my other boy, EJ, he was like, EJ, me and you going to do it. We going to do this, this, and this. And I said, listen, this is what I'm going to do because I keep it real because a lot of people don't let their friends eat. But I'm a, like, I'm a LeBron James mm -hmm. to the rap game. Mm -hmm. If you bring something to the table... We gonna have that's real. Mm -hmm. So they own half of it, and I own the other half. They built the kitchen. I bring the talent, my expertise, and we go from there. So we actually built our own kitchen studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hard. It's on Facebook, right? Facebook Live. It's on Facebook. It's on um, YouTube, and we 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 we, we just got a deal. Well, we, we, we're, working a deal. A deal. Uh -oh. we're working on a deal. We're working on a deal with Fox Soul. Fox Soul. 
But you know what? You know, uh, Charlemagne got his own. He got his own little network too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So I mean, so know. with Fox, so they came to me with something I wasn't used to. They was like, "Well, we are gonna put a couple episodes on there and see." I was like, "Check this out, hold on." Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there at 50 years old. I'm not with all that <laughs> pilot stuff. If you believe in me, believe in me. But Co and Chronic talked me into it, so I said, "Okay, well, we are gonna try it." You gonna put a couple of? So I wanted to, you know, you started doing mornings at one time, right? In Miami, you were in Trina. And I Jeez. thought it was oh, 99 nice. Jams, right? 99 Jams. Or, with our guy Big Mac. With, with, with Mac. And, you know Mac yeah. started here with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 Mac, yeah, yeah. Mac, Mac, was, Mac was a huge fan of the show. Me and Mac watch, watch uh, and listen to y'all all the time. Mac so, was so on what the happened with show. the show? Because we thought the show was hilarious. What happened to the show is we got some young we got some young uh, billionaires that own a lot of these record companies and TV companies that don't have a clue about the hell going on with the culture. And what they do is they add up the math. And our contract was ending in two years, and they was going to have to get some more money up, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they gave us our severance. And, and then the <laughs> severance is you don't get fired. They pay you not to go nowhere else for so so long. Yeah, not So I'm coming back to radio. I'm going back to radio, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be bigger and, and blacker on radio <laughs> because a lot, of, a lot of older women, I was surprised a lot of older women love the show because mm -hmm. it's, it's authentic. When you got a morning show, like y'all actually reach out to the people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, when you uh, when you, in the mornings, people want to hear interesting topics. That's right. They don't want to hear the same records that they heard fifteen times right. during the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't want to hear the, the news that you already talked about last week. Mm -hmm. And I noticed y'all at the Breakfast Club. Y'all never bring back up old topics. Mm -hmm. Just keep it moving. Right. And we don't assassinate characters. We're mm -hmm. not into assassinating characters. Right. If somebody comes out sure want to bring up something, okay, fine, you can bring it up. If the person they're talking about want to address it, come on, you'll let you address it, but I'm not doing it. I'm not Chris rocking you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Damn, Damn, that's what it's called now, Chris yeah, rocking you? Yeah, rocking. they already Damn, called Damn, trick. <laughs> Why you call it that? <laughs> because regardless if Chris Rock was reading the teleprompter or if Chris Rock made it up, if him and Will was cool, then find you somebody else to clown. I'm not. I'm. I, I am not one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And people was like, "Well, why did Will wait so long?" Because it probably didn't. It probably didn't dawn to, on him the, the the different things that, you know, you can't tell a person how to react to when it comes to their family all. anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no limit mm -hmm. to how you act. And the, the ten year ban. Oh well, it, it took him twenty years to give him a award. <laughs> right. You, you know what I'm saying. You ever had a late reaction to something? And then reacted violently? I don't think I had, the late reaction I had one time was gonna real. I thought I was personally oh fine, gosh. and she, I found out she burnt me three days later. But Damn. I, 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 you know, Damn. The only late reaction I ever had. But, but I, I react right at the moment. Now back hate, up I, for a second. We said this gonorrhea thing. She heard gonorrhea. Back up for It takes three days for you to, 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 to puss up. Did you know who it was immediately? No, but I had I had a deal because I had two girls. Mm -hmm. Well, I had one girl, then I had this other dude girl. But it was, it, was, it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. It was sad at first. It became funny because in Miami at that time, if you caught a VD, a venereal disease, right? Mm -hmm. They asked you, "Well, did you have group sex? Who you had it with?" And then they had these health department vans that go get them. And yeah. I put all my homeboys' name on the list. And they came <laughs> And they came to the school and got them. They come right to your school and get you. Oh did they get God. you, CO? Nah. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you tell the women, like, listen, just you should go get tested? Because well, a lot of people don't know with um, sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea, mm -hmm. if you don't tell the girl you had sex with that I got something, you possibly gave me something, I gave you something, then y'all keep passing it around. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you have to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Did you ever do the earwax test back in the day? You geeky. You know, well, the earwax test, I did it a lot of times, but I don't think it worked. Okay. I don't think so. So, so you heard about this earwax Come test. Come on now. Yes, that's a, that's a geeky thing. You will know if they you know if they got something, if you stick your finger in your ear and then insert it. That's right, and you put it in the pool, pool, and if she jumped, if she, she got jumped, something. she got something. I, I thought you was heard heard making it. that up. No. I ain't never heard of that. I don't think it works, you said. So y'all never heard about the whole Home abortions either. What are the uh, home abortions? You jump, you get on the dresser, and you jump down yeah. two times, three times backwards, and you feel something hit the bottom of your stomach, then you're not pregnant no more. But you got to go get it with the clothes hanger. 
See, I heard the clothes hanger one. No, I heard the clothes hanger. I heard the clothes hanger. You can die from that. I heard the clothes hanger. Yeah, you can. But but the worst thing, and and and, and you know they got a thing now in um, Florida where the the, the, go, the don't say gay um mm -hmm. bill. don't say gay bill. Yeah. Then they got the abortion thing that mm -hmm. they got going on. I just believe that comedians, if they can say what they want to say, I can say what I want to say. Mm -hmm. I believe that if uh, I don't, I, I don't approve in. Same sex marriages, adopting kids, and raising them, thinking that they're going to be normal. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. But it's my opinion. But for you to tell me I have to have this baby, it's some parents that is unfit, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what's wrong with the kids, the parents, because it start at the house. So I think, I think women and men should be evaluated so they before they even be able to have a baby. Mm -hmm. Because, no, I, I, I can see that. No, I, I, I think with the gay thing, though, it's like thing. it's like what is the definition of normal nowadays? Though? Right. I mean, because they want they put it in every show, mm -hmm. they drill it in every show. But as a comedian, I can't joke about it if I was a comedian. But as a person that's against it, I couldn't speak out about it. You know, I, I'm not. I, I have a. Are you against it? You're I, not, I don't I think you're against it. I trip. have a sister that's my brother, and I have an aunt that's my uncle. Mm -hmm. So it's in your family. I don't. I, I'm not, and I don't have no problem with my general manager. My restaurant is a gay man, and we hang together. We go to the club, and they're together, all normal. And, it, and nobody never. I but that, think but that's, that's why language are, is important. You can't say against that are it. People homophobic. I believe that they believe in their heart that they have gay tendencies. Mm -hmm. When you say homophobic, but. At certain age, kids, leave it out of kids. Leave it away from the kids. So you against the kids? Like yeah, you want the kids to be able kid. to make up their own mind when they get old? You have all right. For instance, you went to college. You went no, to, I didn't. He, he didn't go to college. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. You, look at, you went the wrong way. way. I ain't going to no damn college. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Do I strike you as the type to go to college? I ain't going to no I college. Know, I, I could have sworn be, because you're well spoken. I, I thought well, you got okay. Well, envy. I went to university. You went to college. Yes, yes, sir. It took it took a lot to get to college. You had to finish high school. Correct. You have to listen and believe in your parents. Correct. You have to pass tests to get to college. Correct. And you have to remain in college by keeping a certain GPA yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finish college. Right. Did you go to college for anything dealing with radio? No. That's crazy, right? Yes. But you still want your kids to go to college because you want them to have all the opportunity, the best opportunities in the world. Yeah. When I grew up, Ass whoopers was the thing that kept us in line in That's my right. generation. I'm That's a right. 70s baby. Me too. That's right. Like, I, I, I feared God, the police, and, and picking my that mama. switch. Picking that switch. Yeah, you had to go pick <laughs> your own switch, right? Mm -hmm. These days, I don't believe kids should be involved the same way we were raised. Stay out of grown people's mouths, stay mm -hmm. out of grown people's conversations. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the, still the same thing that we need to go on with. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, at time change. No, you're changing, okay? And another thing, I don't think that. These women uh, drop the baby off to the man. Oh, you gonna keep my baby? No. What if your baby daddy is not capable of keeping a child? You're endangering this child life just to say, oh, oh, I made him keep my baby. Second thing, social media. You had a two year old phone. Y'all got a two year old in your family? A two year old get that phone and operate it like a, a, a scientist. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think a child should only have a phone when they're not with their parents. In case of emergency, once your child come home, I think you should turn your phone in because they learn a lot of the bad things mm -hmm. on the internet and in that telephone. Well, I do that. I agree with my, that. Yeah, I take I my 13 year old phone. They when should come have home. no social media. If they're not an actor, if they're not an entertainer, if they're not selling nothing online, they don't need no social media. I they agree. don't need none of that. And a lot of these parents are sitting here letting the internet. Letting a new quote unquote culture raise their kids. Babysit their kids. That's right. Absolutely. And, and, and that's not thing. My mama, know what my mama did as babysitter? Five years old, know what my mama did? Mm. And you know what I'm talking about. Lock my door and don't open it for nobody. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> babysitter and nanny? I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know where babysitter was. That's child abuse now. Oh, yeah, you can't leave kids no. at home. No, for real. You gotta, gotta wait till they get home, especially after that's school. That's how I learned how to cook. That's how I learned how to clean. <laughs> that's what I learned responsibilities for my mama giving them to me. Mm -hmm. and, and some people say, oh, I don't let my boys wash dishes. Oh, yeah, I don't care what she is. You wash dishes. You wash them damn house. dishes. But you still got that's gonorrhea. Right. I got gunner no, for I got gunner real from a girl who mama ain't wash up this. Uh. <laughs> I wash mine. But you know what's so crazy about that? When you we, we used to get to stay home because people wasn't as crazy. 
Nowadays, right. you can't just leave the kids home because people is crazy. But 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 but, but, but I've been I watch I watch CNN, mm -hmm. LMA. I watch all oh, I watch. You know, this morning I watched Murder She Wrote since three o'clock. That's all I watch. I watch Murder She Wrote. I watch. I like detective shows and all that. But am I tripping or do it seem like people is just ready to kill you? Like everybody just ready to kill now. Yeah, absolutely. Like nobody have no type yeah. of feelings when it comes to life. Yeah. They don't fear God anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Like this world, this world crazy, man. We, we need to get, my thing, what I tell women, first thing you need to do is gender reveals, stop it. Mm -hmm. Because my mama ain't know what she was having. The only way my mama knew is like a Geechee thing. Is the the boys sit high, the girls sit the girls sit high, the boys sit low. Mm. That's how my mama knew. Yeah, that don't work. It no. was saying <laughs> like it was saying like it's a girl, it's you a right boy. Though. Those sayings don't exist no more. They spend five thousand dollars. They have a celebration called a gender reveal. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, but you can find out what type of child you have when you go to the doctor, right? Don't they ask you? Okay. I don't have but, any kids. But, but, so you, yeah. but, but you. You you supposed to not want to know. Okay. But what I was getting at, they get they do the five thousand on the gender reveal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. They spent ten thousand on the baby shower, mm -hmm. which used to be after the baby was born. The baby shower was to shower the baby with gifts, mm. and the men didn't go. <laughs> and the baby first party, they spent another fifteen thousand. <laughs> Now they done spent thirty thousand on a one year old, and they got no insurance, mm -hmm. no health insurance, yeah. no college fund, mm -hmm. none of that for the fucking baby, yo. Mm -hmm. None of that, mm -hmm. and that, it's, it's kind of crazy now because now the kids, there are more kids being born today that parents aren't together. Your mom and father grew up together. Yep. I, I can tell by your complexion that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can tell by your complexion. But he's Dominican. I'm not Dominican. He's Dominican. He's Dominican. No, he's Dominican. I'm black, he's Dominican. I'm black, 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 black. He's Dominican. I'm, I'm black, black. He, you, you red. So listen. So, so look. So look. So my mama got 11 kids mm -hmm. and 10 baby daddies. Mm -hmm. For real? So when you hear, when you when 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 when, when, when the white man cut to me and tell me, your mama kids and your half siblings. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. We grew up in a struggle together. We had WIC and, and, and Medicaid and welfare and food stamps together. What mm -hmm. do you mean? Your dad kids is your whole sibling, even if you don't have the same mama. A lot of those theories mess the world up. Mm -hmm. A lot of those theories having kids thinking, oh, my mama is jealous of me or my mama hate me because she won't let me be grown. Mm -hmm. Because she won't let me put on a lace front. When you go to middle school and little girls got their nails done and they got on lace fronts, you know society's in trouble, mm -hmm. man. It's in trouble. I don't know what we gonna do, but I tell the girl, first thing I need you to do, don't spend no money. Go get a photo album. Why a photo album? Take the pictures of your baby when your baby born. Mm -hmm. Take the pictures at six months. Take the picture at a year. So you, when, when your friends come over, you can have something to talk about mm -hmm. except talk about other people's goddamn <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And start to try to figure out if it's your neighbor a drug dealer. Uh, 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 your, if your neighbor boyfriend, did he just got out of prison? Mm -hmm. Is he a pedophile? Mm -hmm. That's what's wrong. People worry about other people so much. Now, we need to know who the pedophiles are now. But they got, they got, a, uh, well, they, in Florida, they registered. The registry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get yeah, alerts yeah. anytime a pedophile moving in. And you're not allowed oh, yeah. to live near <laughs> schools, mm -hmm. churches, or parks. Mm -hmm. You can't live there, period. Mm hmm. So, I mean, yeah. And, well, we know where the pedophiles at. A lot of them are mm -hmm. in, in, in these funny-looking churches, and a lot of these politicians mm -hmm. are, are the pedophiles. We understand that, okay? So, but my thing is this. We need more control over our kids. Don't tell me not to beat my kid. Mm -hmm. My kid might need to be beat. I don't believe in the beat, I ain't gonna lie. They, they, they did nothing for me except for traumatize me growing up. Like as you get older, I, like, and it might have kept us on the right path, but I think there's other ways to have conversations. Plus, kinda. I got four, plus I got four girls. I ain't beating none of my girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. I never, I never beat my daughter. My son got a couple of beatings, but I never beat my daughter. But one thing, my son, my son never been to a block party. My mm -hmm. son, a junior fam, he never been to a block party. He never spent the night. Well, not in Miami. He's from Nashville, but nobody knows because no matter what, when you get, when you bring a baby into the world, you mm -hmm. gotta be in that child's life. That's so right. When you wanna have babies all over the world, 
then it's going to cost you more to spend time with them and to raise them. That's right. And my son never did a lot of those things. And I sh every time I tell him he can't go, I show, I, I'm able to show him, see, see this pool party got shot up. See, this block party got shut up. And my son told me last year, you know what, Daddy, man, I love you, man. I respect you for everything you ever told me. Because he want to make music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, well, you got one more year in school, finish. I'm going to spend any dime you want on your music. But I'm not helping you with your music until you finish school. Because I think that's more important because I went to prison. That's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? What's his major? He done changed it. He he, he did uh, the, the sports medicine. He done tried to change all type of things. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing why I told him that. You start off as a football player, you got hit too hard, you quit. <laughs> you start off as a baseball player, when you got to college, you find out that y'all going to be traveling a lot. You say, oh, I ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. You're not going to take my money and quit on me mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm not falling out with you as my child. I'm going to want to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that it's very important that these, these people get the photo album so they can see they self progress. You know what a, a man told me? And Bob Greaser said in his song, mm -hmm. said, take a look at your circle. Would you want to be them? That's right. Mm -hmm. If not, they make the ones that you need to be with. And I heard an old preacher saying on on on, um, on the internet, I heard an old preacher saying, you want to know what you're going to be doing in five years? Look at the people yeah. around you. That's right. Well, I'm glad to be in your circle. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you, man, and, 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 and it plays a big part of me. It don't matter about everybody. Everybody does. Nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. We're born imperfect in an imperfect world. We just Nobody's evolving perfect. every day. That's all. Right. That Correct. We, and, we, and we're still learning. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing for me to learn is when people accept the things that ain't right. Mm -hmm. I'm not accepting nothing that ain't right. I'm saying something about it. I don't care if they try to cancel me. I don't give a damn. You can't cancel me. I can't be exposed this dude, Whack 100, put something on Clubhouse the other day talking about, oh, I'm an exposed tree. You're going to get you and your family hurt. You not you can't expose me. There's nothing about me private. I, I I represent the people. I represent my city to the fullest. I have no other sports team outside of Miami, and I don't think no other city is raw than my city. But when I go to your city, I'm going to respect your city, and I'm going to enjoy myself and go back so I can be able to go back home. Mm -hmm. You can't expose nothing real. So whack you whack use a manager to a rat use a troll that make money off the internet you can't expose me all you can do is get me locked up until I burn out. Why um what what, what is what is he talking about exposing? Where did that like, come from? And where, yeah, where did that come from? Because he is just he's just a he's a troll. Y'all never get I be on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is something that's big like mm -hmm. and, and he he has rooms where he's always talking about other people's business. We don't talk about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think the internet is supposed, you're supposed to die off the internet. I don't think you're supposed to hurt nobody's feelings on the internet. I think you're supposed to, I think that's where people put the meet up and learn different things and, and experience different things in life. And that's what I think it's, it's supposed to be about. That's how it started. That's how Twitter and all that started. It was fun. It was entertaining. You would meet people, but then it just... Now you got turn. people. Now you got people like some people don't have. Some people not stronger than other people. You can't talk about people. You can talk about me. You, what you go? All you gonna get is beat up. At the least, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like well, at the least. Like, let's talk. Know. Let's talk about you for a second, because we've been watching you on Love and Hip Hop, uh -huh. and you've been putting it all out there. And I was wondering about your feelings about divorce in general. Is that? Something that you feel I'm like probably, you would have stayed I'm, married. I, I probably, I'm probably the only way I get divorced if if my girl want me to marry her. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, Trick? I, I, I'm so I, because confused. Because I'm like a in my mind right now, I'm like a Duke point guard, one and done. <laughs> one marriage and done. One marriage and done. That's it. So mm -hmm. what do you mean, my girl married her? Don't you got to be already be married to get divorced? No. I'm already married. He's yeah, married. Yeah. I, I never got divorced, but in order for me to divorce Joy. I would have to be ready for to get married again. Well, what so about if she wants a divorce? She does, right? That's what she say, but she used my name. If she wanted a divorce, she didn't stop using my name. Oh, the oh, young. And then she yeah. and then, right, and then she going around messing with all these these dudes trying to find me. I'm right here. You, you, they, they, they'll never be me. You can't melt them and pour them on me. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't feel like, <laughs> to me, it doesn't on. feel like you, because you guys have been separated for a while. So yeah. you, you do you, she does her thing, right? right? And, and leave it like that. So you just want to just stay married? She going to hell with me for that's adultery. God damn <laughs> trick. <laughs> that's adultery. I don't understand Lord have it. Mercy. Well, I I know I, I but I, I allow her to date. Okay. 
She was allowed to date. <laughs> she was allowed. Because at one, at one point, I thought you was going to well, do well, the if divorce. If I said she don't date, I would terrorize the person she date and make them not want to date her at, at the least. I allow her to date. She allows I, you to date. Well, I'm from the side where they don't really. We run our household, <laughs> you know. We run our house. Mm-hmm. The men, the men run our house. City girls down real bad right now. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> City girls. But you had a whole right divorce now. party. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, but 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 she had had three or four failed relationships before my divorce party. Is that because of you terrorizing? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I, I stay. She actually. I thought she wanted to be my friend because she said, you know, it hurt me when I come somewhere and you leave. Like, you don't have to do that. We can still be cool. And I thought she wanted to be my friend. But mm-hmm. then every time I do something or say something, she take it personal and stop speaking to me like I'm not a child, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't, mm-hmm. don't do me like, if you're going to be my friend, be my friend. But now I, I need to start evaluating these dudes who you mess with because these is my boyfriends and husbands-in-law. I'm, I'm his husband. Your boyfriend, <laughs> I'm his husband-in-law. You got a boyfriend-in-law. A boyfriend-in-law. That's because, crazy. Because... That's my wife boyfriend. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. my boyfriend in law. And I'm his girlfriend <laughs> husband. So I'm his husband in law. <laughs> and we go we go we need to we need to get along. You need to res- and you need to take care of my wife. So what what, what about when you get to the point where it's a dude that you can't terrorize? It's just this crazy trick. I'm not but I, I don't But why would you want to terrorize him? That's kind of like I, I know I never terrorize yeah. him. I respect him, but they need to do what they need to do. Mm-hmm. That's just like I was that's a, that's just like I'm, I'm messing with a married woman. Mm-hmm. Now, why would you do that, Trey? I would do, because they do that. They did it to me, too. But listen, mm-hmm. I would do, listen, when I'm messing with a married woman, mm-hmm. I do anything in my power so it don't hurt her husband or it don't get back to her husband. That's my duty. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if he, would you, he wait, confronted so you. Focus you. Off? What you doing? No, but what I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not be calling her phone all the time of right. nights. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not going to try to fight her. And well, he, he don't a- know what her is you would deni- if he asked her, you would deny it? Yes. <laughs> No, what he'll do is if she do something wrong, he'll call and say, "Man, we gotta get her right." We gotta get her right, cause bro, <laughs> oh I'm God. finding out it's somebody else involved. It ain't finna be three of us, though. <laughs> she cheating on us. Yeah, she cheating on us. Yeah. Like, 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 what is you not doing at the house that she's not happy, bro? Cause I'm doing my part on the side. I'm the number one side nigga in America. I know I'm doing my part. Like, tighten up, bro. I, I tell oh, him to tighten man. up. I tell her to tighten up. Man, tighten up for your husband. Find out about us. <laughs> you know, I was laughing when you said the least can happen on social media is uh, you beat somebody up because you have uh, the smartest, the new gangster. It's an anti-violence forum for young adults <laughs> and accompanying parents and you're doing that on your weekend for the uh, Trick Daddy and Friends concert. Right. 25th anniversary. <laughs> because because what I don't want, what I want, so, okay, so my, my thing is, I think kids fighting is healthy because mm-hmm. that's the problem. They don't know how to fight yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They don't know how to fight. Mm-hmm. In Miami, in a lot of urban areas in the, this country, 12 or 13 year olds got 30s and switches. That's sad. Damn. Mm-hmm. The average killings that's been going on been done to and done by the age from the age of 12 to 17. Damn. And they used to say, oh, the government bringing the guns in. I ain't used to believe it. I'm like, well, hold on now. It's a lot of guns. Mm-hmm. It's still hard to believe because, okay, how they doing it, but they doing it. So I found that the kids are breaking their houses, breaking their cars. So if you own a weapon, them, you need yeah. to put your gun up, secure your gun, lock your gun, put it up so your son do not get your gun and go retaliate on somebody that hurt his feelings. Somebody that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think yeah, it's I pre- social media too, though. Because, you know, when, when you got in a fight back when you were a kid, you got in a fight and it was over. Yeah, right? but now it's it can be online. That's right. Now it goes That's on right. another That's week, right. another week. You get, if you record my children getting jumped on, I'm coming at you. Mm-hmm. Don't record my kids being jumped on, especially grown folks. Yeah, don't you break stop it up. Them. Yeah, That's stop right. them. Yeah, I prefer the fist fight over the guns, but I would rather us even find a better way to not even process our emotions with violence. You know what we got to start back doing? We got to start back spending Christmases and Thanksgivings together. Families don't do that no more. Mm-hmm. Mm. These big corporations got to start back giving people the days off on the holidays. Mm-hmm. So they could be with their family. And if you got kids from different men, then you should let your baby daddy know, well, my child is going to be with me during Christmas, so if you want to come, come over. Therefore, you have to get back to even having babies from people that you at least going to be able to speak to five years from now. Mm-hmm. 
if if he a scammer or a drug dealer or a robber or he gang banging, then that's not the dude you need to be having a baby with. And if you do, then he got to understand my child ain't finna be around you. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is a political debate. I feel like Trick laying out his policies. Because there's so many ways you could do it. Remember, remember, in Charlemagne, you know, you Geechee. You Geechee fire. Remember this? Came home from school, took off your school clothes. That's right. Put on, put on your, your play, play clothes. clothes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Never never go in the refrigerator. There was never a time we was allowed <laughs> to open the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. That's what grown people to do. That's mm-hmm. right. There's they probably something out for you already, right, like saying. Right. You outside, you stay outside till you want to come in. That's you don't right. keep coming in and out. Right. You got to pee, go That's around right. the back, go around the garbage can, the tree. <laughs> you want something to drink, turn the water hose on. <laughs> It's certain things that they need to do. They give it their kids. You, you know how grown people say, oh, my baby don't eat screen beans. What do you mean your baby don't eat screen beans? That's a baby. That baby eat whatever you tell them to eat. That's a vegan meal right there. There you go. We eat, we, I, as long I as eat you everything. don't put no turkey in it. Chitlin, <laughs> rabbit, liver, uh. goat, anything I, I eat it. Gizzards, oh, we eat, I eat everything. I love chicken gizzards. Oh. I eat everything because there's a, way, there, there's a way for you to get respect from your kids. McDonald's. Come on, man. They chicken nugget these kids to death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all they chicken nugget, chicken nugget. You go out to dinner, you go to a nice restaurant, they get their kids chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and fries. The french fries, yeah. I didn't bring you out to dinner mm-hmm. to order no chicken tender and fries. We just, we just got to get back to the culture, man. Bring the family together. Pray together. Mm-hmm. Go to church. Mm-hmm. If you don't go to church, sit there and watch church. Stop mm-hmm. letting your middle school and high school daughters talk about they got a boyfriend. No, you have a friend boy or a friend girl. You don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Because we had to, we had to sit there. If we went to a girl house, we had to sit there and watch Days of Our Lives. Man, Bo and Hope. Hope, Hope was the blind one, right? No, Hope and... Or I think Hope did go blind. Hope Brady. I think she went blind for a second. Yeah, Hope yeah, went yeah, blind. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys really did watch it. <laughs> they really yeah. did watch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all children. Grandma used to watch. If you had, if you had either at Grandma House or that Girl House, all my you children. watching Days all, all Alive. Children. I was Victor Newman when I was a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> remember when Victor faked his death and went oh my to gosh. Love with Hope, remember? <laughs> all I get from this is Trick Daddy really does love the kids. No, I love Trick the kids. Love and, and the kids are very important. I have a lot of God's children. My God children are... I started to have kids. None of my kids got kids. I only got two, a boy and a girl. None of, but my God kids have kids now. You ain't ready to be trick granddaddy? No, because I don't like older women. <laughs> my my women stop. I, I like women from 22 to 34. So you trick sugar daddy then? Not 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 really a sugar daddy because I take care of my women. But I'm not I'm not a sugar daddy because what we call them down there is Chrissy's. Cause, cause until, when you stop doing what I tell you to do, then you don't get no money or none of that. What is why is it a Chrissy? Because we call him Chrissy. Chrissy is like a, a, a like a duck, a sucker. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they just go to him and get money. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you don't just come to me and get money. You come to me and we exchange things. But that's what sugar daddies are. <laughs> sugar, sugar daddy, daddy. Sugar daddy well, is, not, um, not not really, they, they either want company or money. money. No, 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 no. I don't want no company. <laughs> I don't want no company. <laughs> oh, you call him a splendor? <laughs> splendor daddy. Splendor daddy. You're a splendor daddy trick? I don't want no company. <laughs> no company. Company costs more. If, if you look out for me, I look out for you. But I need you to look out for yourself as well. Mm-hmm. And I don't eat out the garbage, so. Huh? Yeah, I don't eat out the garbage, so therefore, I, I need to, you need to watch out who you mess with besides me. What that mean, eat out the garbage? You know, eating, eating some raggedy ass, you know what I'm saying, eating, eating the alligator. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> you don't like gator? I like the gator, but not the alligator it. girls. You not don't eat poo poo, so just make sure what you put in your body is right. good. Oh, you got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. So what is the ass if the poom poom is garbage then? The ass is a delicatessen now because <laughs> what, what I don't know what I, I see I used to eat the the, the poom poom, right? And then now I suck the poom poom and eat the ass because I, I I I went back to my roots of having manners <laughs> because you know your mama say when you walk in a room with somebody older you speak. Right. And it, and it like like the girls that like the gooch, mm-hmm. the gooch is the next door neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's in between <laughs> the butt and the pum pum. Yeah. So that's how I started. How I started eating ass was getting getting me first getting ate out. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that feels good. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. need to start doing this. So I started doing it. But you don't eat random ass. No, 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 no. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't talk to random women. Mm-hmm. I have to. I ha- I have a certain type. There's usually tall, slim, and dark skin. 
Mm-hmm. Do you I have, have to shower thing. first? No, you got to, if you see, that's another thing where I tell dudes, if you got to go shower first, you're trying to cover up something. I need you to stay fresh. They could be out all day, you know. Well, that's especially Miami there's weather's a difference, hot. There's a difference between sweaty and funky. I eat a sweaty ass, but not no funky ass. <laughs> you eat a sweaty. You ass. got to wash the ass before you eat it, man. Yeah, yeah, sweaty ass. ass. A what if they had a bowel movement earlier? See, and that, it got that's, 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 we that's, can't that's, wash our chicken funky. before we eat it, but that's not funky. the ass. <laughs> that's funky. See, but but one thing about one thing about the eating booty gang, once you get in the area in the vicinity. You will know yeah. if it's okay to, to go in. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I am not a member. Okay. You're not a member? Come on now. I, I sit from the side. Oh, I'm a member. <laughs> Me oh too. My gosh. I'm a proud member oh, of Eater Booty Gang. Eater Booty Gang is in our. Eater Booty Gang is strong, CO. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting bigger, we're getting better. <laughs> now, you got some, you got some backlash trick- a, a couple of uh, years ago when you, you talked about Beyonce can't sing. I, well, 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 okay, Trick, so, you was tripping so, with so, that so, one. So, now. Okay, so here, here's the thing. All right. I wasn't saying that Beyonce can't sing. Okay. Because I've known Beyonce since they were 15, 16. Mm-hmm. Okay. We went on tour with them. A we lot of times. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have a lot of love and respect. Beyonce is a hell of an entertainer. Mm-hmm. Correct. But when I go, when I, when I put singers in the category, I'm talking about Whitney Houston. Mm hmm. I'm talking about Adele. Understand. I'm talking about Shirley Murdoch. I'm talking about Stephanie Mills. I don't know about Adele. I think Beyonce can hang with Adele. I'm with you on everybody else though. Whitney Houston, Stephanie Mills, Adele, Fa- Adele Fantasia, uh, uh, um, Stephanie Mills, uh, um, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Mm-hmm. That's a different kind of. Patty LaBelle. That's same. I, I, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that, that that they ain't gonna like again. Go ahead. Out of the ten female R&B singers that came out in the last five years. Mm-hmm. Five of them sound alike. Okay, who are they? The hers, mm-hmm. the um, Scissor, uh, uh, Scissor, um, you think they the sound girl, alike? uh, 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 what her name? Uh, uh, Janae uh, Eichel. Janae Eichel. I can I can close my eyes and not know who they are. That don't mean I don't don't like them. That don't mean I don't like their talent. But if I had to pull a top ten, a top five, I wouldn't mention them. So what they did, they took a piece of a conversation where we had that talk that was all over the place, and you notice how long the the, the conversation was. Mm-hmm. They took that one piece mm-hmm. and they wanted to go viral, and it worked. And they wanted me to apologize. And I didn't feel like I had to apologize. That's because, your opinion. When I heard you explain it a little more, I understood what you were saying. Yeah. But people like Whitney and Stephanie, that's just different, man. That's that's, that's, right. that's an otherworldly talent, and Beyonce's an otherworldly talent too. But that's like, a different. I don't think. Like I don't think. Um, now, who wanted you to apologize? Who say bought these chairs? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. I don't think he's funny. God damn, Trick. Why are you shooting <laughs> at everybody this morning? Why? Why? What is the reason for this? I grew up on Red Fox and <laughs> right? Robin Harris and. And, and Eddie Murphy and, and, and Chris Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. You notice the say you say you say you don't like what Wack do on Clubhouse. You doing the same thing right now. But 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 but, but he's not. What Wack is targeting people. I'm giving my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay. We ain't asked for it. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Cat Williams. But this is unpopular opinion moment right, right now. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't okay. think Cat Williams is funny. No, you tripping. The only no, time yeah. I thought Cat Williams was funny when that little 14 year old had him in the, in the choke. Oh, God, my God, damn it. Trick. What did Cat do to you? Why are you doing <laughs> he this? He didn't do nothing to me. <laughs> I, I think that's that 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 Why? Hey, why? I, I, I just don't think he's funny. I think Cat, Cat and Kevin funny, funny as hell. Funny. But for the record, I love and respect Beyonce and everything she. She ever done. Who wanted you to apologize when you said they wanted me to apologize? Beehive. Oh, the beehive. No, not the okay. Beehive. The beehive. Because because they don't know what the beehive. Not the beehive. It's it's, it's my my a couple of my business partners, mm-hmm. a couple of my friends, a couple of older women in my family. They were like, maybe you should just apologize because they, you know. And I was like, apologize. Apologize is you're not supposed to apologize unless For you did opinion. something wrong and you know you did something wrong. Mm-hmm. Is this an opinion? I, it's, it's an opinion, and, and I, I had with no intentions on hurting nobody's feelings mm-hmm. or nothing like that, but. I like who I like. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is funny? He just told you. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, who you I didn't. think is funny said right Fox. now. Oh, yeah, you said Red Fox. You know my, what my funniest female right now is? Who's Just that? hilarious. Just <laughs> hilarious. She's, I'm about to say Just is hilarious. Yes, yeah. she's yeah. hilarious. I, I think she's funny, and I think she's very sexy and attractive as well. But mm-hmm. I think she's funny. Like, um, the Haddish girl, I don't think Tiffany she's funny. <laughs> because she's not... She, it even it even proved that she's not funny. She's more of an actor now than she is a comedian. But she started off as a comedian. Mm-hmm. No, she always did both. She was a comedic actress. Yeah, but uh, she acted a little better than she do comedy. Now, have you spoken mm-hmm. to Amara La Negra and congratulated her on the twins? No, because I don't know who she had them babies from. 
God damn tree. <laughs> she called I, I spoke to Amara about two weeks before she did the um before she had the um the baby shower. Mm -hmm. And I was like, baby shower? I didn't even know you was damn pregnant. Yeah, it was a pandemic. People was hiding pregnancies. And but I was talking to her every day because she was buying a lot of property in DR. And she was telling me how sweet it was. And I was about to invest in some properties over there. And she never looked pregnant or said she was pregnant. Did she have the kids yet? Yeah. Twins. Yeah, she had twins. What? And she's not with the dude no more. Oh, I don't I don't even know the situation until I see the show. I don't know what's going on. Me neither. I see the show just like y'all see the but show. But congratulations to her. That's a big uh, deal. You love the kids. Amada, because one thing about Love Hip Hop Miami, it's real, it's raw, it's uncut. We don't know nothing that y'all don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We find out at the same time. So a lot of times people might get mad later on and mm -hmm. say stuff, but this it's because they don't know. Mm. But I don't put myself in those situations. I have... I have more respect for myself than I have pride because I don't want, I'll never be suicidal and there, there's nothing you can do to make me feel, to belittle me, to make me feel down and bad because I know myself better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for anybody that I have offended back in the, in, in the days, respectfully, Fuck you. Lord, I think about to apologize. Trick, trick. I think you about know, to you know, apologize. <laughs> now listen, this Trick Daddy and Friends concert, celebrating your 25th anniversary, what, how, how, what's that going to be like? Oh, man, it's going to be huge. I got a lot of, um, I got a lot of big acts that's coming out. Yeah. yeah I, I, I wanted to see how much Miami supported me, so I didn't even promote these guys. Mm. And we're about, 85% sold out. Wow. Wow. That's great. I miss Miami bass, man. Like, I miss that Uncle Luke, Scar, Coochie Mama era. I got, well, I got, Raheem, I got era. Raheem, mm -hmm. I got Disco Rick, and Luke is performing. Damn. JT and the Poison Clan performing. Mm -hmm. Ball Greasy is performing. Mm -hmm. um, Flo Rida, Trina. Trina. Mm -hmm. uh, Pitbull. Mm -hmm. um, I got uh, Tierra Trine. I got, I got the whole Miami crew with uh, Case One. And um, I got... The only people I ain't got from Miami that I would, would love to be that was Major Nine and Iceberg, mm -hmm. but I got them. But I got my friends is coming. Mm -hmm. Natasha Scott is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jay Sheen is coming. Mm -hmm. The lineup is very, very, very long, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do it. What well, we gonna keep the people in the thing? It's gonna uh, be. Oh. How important is Luke the hip hop man? Luke, Luke is everything to me. Mm -hmm. Luke is everything to a lot of people. Luke was one of the first independent labels. That's right. That mm -hmm. nobody get recognized. Luke took a dude from Cali and a dude from New York and came together and made the first controversial rap group of all time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Two live crew. That's group. right. Fought the government. Fought the government. Mm -hmm. Took him to trial. Mm -hmm. And won. And won. And the f first executive to have a private plane. Mm -hmm. Private plane. And he, my daddy owned the pressure plant, so I know for a fact Luke pressed and shipped all his own records. Mm -hmm. All his own merchandise. That money is unlimited. There's no limit to that money. Mm. You think you've made good financial decisions? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> what was the worst thing you bought, Trick? <laughs> you look back at it like, damn it, man. Half of the half of the things I bought was the worst thing. I mean, man, Trick is I so bought, funny. I bought, <laughs> I bought, I'm going to tell you what I, I want to tell a lot of these dudes. I know oh, you got man. a nice chain, man. I, I wanted to tell you that you got a nice chain. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You don't need no more chains. I don't got no more. Mm -mm. These rappers that buying chains every week, trust me, bro. I don't know who you're trying to compete with. You don't need that. It's not worth half of what you bought it for. And when you buy 10 or 15 of them, that's more of them that you have to hide and conceal or take a chance on being robbed or ripped off for. That's right. Says the guy that got a three kilo chain on. I know. <laughs> but I, that's all I got on. That's all I got on. I ain't got on a bunch of rings <laughs> and a bunch of bracelets and mm -hmm. two watches and mm -hmm. all that. No. So And the Rolex watches, once you put all the diamonds in them, they're not worth nothing that's no right. more. That's right. Nothing. So, but it looks like you are getting it all together now, right? As you're getting I, I'm, all the. I'm trying to. I'm mm -hmm. trying to. I'm almost out of bankruptcy. My last bankruptcy. I've been on. I've been bankruptcy. I'm. Donald How many times you, you, you? I thought they wouldn't let bankruptcy. you. I thought I'm they the, wouldn't let you file for bankruptcy. I'm the, I'm the Donald Trump of bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Financial literacy is not easy for a lot of people, man. No, like man. We, you take it for granted. But. Yes, you have to. You okay? Okay. Just imagine this. Uh -huh. Imagine this, Envy. You get your first million dollars. Mm -hmm. You got to look out for everybody to help you get to that point because that's going to keep you real, right? Yeah, that's right. Now you got a million dollars. You need you a car. Mm -hmm. 
You need your watch, you need a, a chain, a place to stay. You don't need the watch or the chain. You don't need that. For a million dollars. If I'm going to look out for you, I'm going to look out for me, too. Because right? one thing you didn't say, Trick, that million, you got to cut that in half for taxes. The IRS. That's the part I didn't know. There you go. <laughs> okay, there there go. you go. That's, That's the most the important part. part. There you go. You That's don't have a million dollars. I didn't know for six or seven years. Mm-hmm. Yeesh. And Atlantic was cutting checks. I mean, uh, Atlantic was giving me checks before, after, and during. So you owe the shitload of money. Boy. Those taxes will get you. Listen. By the way, they're due this Friday. five years worth of taxes. Mm-hmm. Cost me two hundred times the amount because they they penalize that's, right. that's right that's right every twenty four right. hours. Yeah. So your credit was shot every twenty four hours. How what's the most you owed? Millions. I, I they could have Wesley sniped me mm-hmm. if I'd have been a, a, a dummy. Cause Wesley sniped you had money. He didn't want to pay. He didn't want to pay. He wasn't paying the taxes, yeah. And then you get to the point where it's, they set you up. They give you a financial affidavit, which is a sworn statement. You better not lie on that financial affidavit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta search. You research. going to prison <laughs> and you paying that money. <laughs> and, 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 man, that's why I want y'all, y'all boys that's getting a lot of new artists. Mm-hmm. Man, y'all making a lot of money. Y'all making. 10, 20 times more money than we made. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 15, 20, 30, 50 times easier for y'all. Because you get a lot of new artists, they get one hot record. They trend on the internet or they trend on Twitter, TikTok, or anything. They more likely going to get a deal. Mm-hmm. They they making, when we was we was crying for 20, 25, $30,000 for concerts. They paying these dudes 150, 200 yes, they are. for a club. Yeah. Yes, they That's are. Right. For a club. I and be thinking that shit me- got to be in Bitcoin. I'm like, where the fuck all that money coming from? And, and that social media money for posting and all oh, that. Oh, man, they be getting on, they be on, they be having all their money with them. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, wow. Take care of yourself. Enjoy your money. Absolutely. Because I don't want to be no hater, but, uh, man, I, man, I appreciate y'all for making, because they made me know that there was money out there left for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all won't pay them, I know I can go get me some money. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, we opened up Sundays. We said, we had the number one seasoning on the market, mm-hmm. and and our show, our, 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 our cooking show is picking up mm-hmm. every day. Every Actually, we booked up for the next two months as far as hosts. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they showed me the game, but I want to tell them something that nobody else ain't telling them. Mm-hmm. Watch what you do with your money. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because in Miami, rent has went up fifty to fifty to a hundred percent. If you paid twenty five hundred for your condo, they came to you last month and said it's three thousand now. Damn. Right. Inflation. And if you want to sell property, everything's going way above everything's asking Miami yeah. right and now. And like if everything. somebody in your neighborhood sell for high, mm-hmm. your house, your value go up. That's yeah. right. And I think they need, I think the government need to get a, a, a get a hand in that. They starting. They, they, they need, to, they they need to control that because that's, that's, that's crazy. But a lot of people going to be upside down when they do, though. That house that you bought a million dollars that's really worth 600000 that's going to hurt people, too. They gonna yeah, go it's going to hurt them if they go and try to take all the equity out of the house. If they leave it alone, they can still going to be the same way they were. But a lot of people go use money. Women don't get the hairdos no more. But I tell a girl, oh, I love braids. I love pigtails. I love plaids. She'd be like, oh, that's for little girls. <laughs> if you're not on TV, if you're not a model, if you're not an actor, you're, if you're not a personality, you don't need to get your face beat. You don't need to keep on changing them wigs because the only person who used to wear wigs back in the days was drag queens, bank robbers, and prostitutes. <laughs> so when you put these wigs on every day, that don't make you pretty. I, I don't mind the wig. You don't need a lace front, though. Lace front every day, that, though. Yeah, you don't need front, it. Oh, they, and they always <laughs> caked up in the front after two days. Always lifting up. Like, I, and they do photo shoots. Oh, oh, they do photo shoots and they not models. <laughs> and they post a picture on Instagram. And I like the picture. And now I'm thirsty. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty. Oh, I like how you look man. at your bathing suit. Man, make sure y'all go check out Trick Daddy and Friends concert. Trick, yes. April 15th to the 17th, man. Yes. Bitch, I got my pots. Make Bitch, sure you I watch that. Pot. <laughs> oh, I, got the, I got the pot line, the, the, the cooking on uh, utensil Season. line. The I can't seasoning. wait for our vegetarian episode. That's going to be <sighs> amazing. Trick, you got to hit the dance for us one time before you leave, man. I, I, I need the music. I'm going to hit the dance. I'm going to hit the dance. And Charlamagne, I need you and I need mm-hmm. Angela Yee to come to the cooking show. 
or at least come, come to there. Sundays. Come to the restaurant and Sunday. I'll be there. I'm we coming to Miami. We're the original fried ribs, mm -hmm. and you'll never get to taste it, but it's the most wonderful <laughs> thing. And, 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 I sure uh, smell no, good. No, I've been wanting to come to your spot. I always go to the Licking because I, you know, I be in and out. But well, I'm we were right down the street from the Licking, and that's which how, one? And, the and, one um, in Little Haiti, Miami Garden. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, and, and 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 we're close to personal friends. That's like our sister restaurant. Okay. So, yeah, salute so to E Class. What we do is what we do as the the real people in Miami that actually deal with each other. Mm -hmm. We try not to sell the same things to other sell. Okay. Oh, that's real. The market the same way. Let everybody get some money. There that's you go. Right. What's what the name of your spot? I'm coming down there next Sundays. week. Sundays. Sundays. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'll be there down there in two weeks. weeks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be on trick I'm show really two weeks. Two weeks. We got. You. I got you. I'm. A, I'm a like I said, I eat anything. It could be pork. It don't matter. Well, Booty. Don't worry, I'm a we know. Some, what you eat? Everything but pork. Oh, you don't eat pork. Man. No, I don't eat no pork. But from Carolina, and you don't eat pork. I ain't eat pork in twenty something years. I just don't do chicken. If you do, don't, if don't you, I'm gonna tell you, if you do, you'll get sick instantly because everybody I know that got all pork in this. Oh no, that's true. That happened to me in Dallas like three weeks ago. Somebody, they, I ate some, uh, what's that? Some uh, green bean casserole, uh, and, and yeah. they must have cooked it in pork. Yeah, and you knew, and you, immediately you I was, oh man, it. yeah. 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 They just don't do chitlins. I don't do chitlins. My mama used to do chitlins New Year's Eve, and the house used to stink. Oh, we ain't doing no chicken. No, I don't. I, do I, I, I know how to cook it, but I won't. I won't. Yeah, nah, nah. Okay. But I cook the pork sauce for you. That's the pig ears, pig tail, hog maw, and the pig feet. Hit that nan nigga one time, man. Pull up nan nigga on that. I don't want pig tail. Pull up nan nigga, nigga, man. I want to see the trick do the dance, man. Right, pull it up. Pull up. I know we got that in the system. Yeah, yeah of course we got it. Pull up nan one time. I need. The actual the dance come from the old Luke song. Throw that. Throw that dick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's just like the beginning of the throw that dick is, is, is how I did it. We got it? He pulling it up now, yeah. Of course we Come got on, it. Come on, man. Solid, man. You, you son, man. I want to bring that shit. We got to bring back Miami Bass, man. That was a fun time, <laughs> man. I think that, I think uh, it's going to be hard. Everybody think you got to be a killer to make a record. No. Man. I don't think so, yeah. We ain't got it. I got it in my laptop where it's going to work. I don't oh. hear those conscious records no more. I don't hear positive records no more. I don't hear the... The the, the 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 kitty records no more. All I hear is drill music. Right. That's all I hear now. I feel like people just listen to curated lists now though more than the radio. No shade to us, but it's what you kind of choose to listen to, also. What you I, listen to? Man, they might have had a terrorist I, You know, I love R and B. You see that shit? Yeah. And I like dance hall. Where? It said Brooklyn subway station. Said multiple yeah, people they were shot, huge, and mm -hmm. they found a bunch of undetonated devices. That's what oh, everybody's hitting me now. Like, are yeah, you good? Yeah, we need to get out of here before they cancel our flight. Word. <laughs> Let's go, Trick. So, so the dance, the, so the throw the dick dance is usually like this, but I do it like this. You We've know seen that, yeah. Turn so it it's up, like, Let's go. Turn it up. <laughs> I, I, that, that's it, man. I, that's I, it. I, that's come it. on, Trick, man. Come to the concert. You can see it in person. <laughs> you saving it for the weekend? Come see it a lot, man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Trick Daddy, CEO. Thank you. It's Trick CEO. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs>